their lessons. Sacrifice of parents for their children. Because just like you can't remember the miracle of You are not your parents. You have your own personality and qualities. So you don't get to automatically claim their good qualities as your own, nor should you be limited by their shortcomings. Just got ready for Taraweeh. It's 8.09 p.m. We already had iftar. Just got ready for Taraweeh. We're gonna go to mosque. This is the fit, you guys. I have this beautiful new prayer cloth that my mom made. It's pretty long, so I can pray with this very easily. And it's also like perfect for summer as well. Because the one that I had before it was really thick like it was it was definitely like way thicker than this one the material um so during summer i used to like sweat while praying and especially praying duhr <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna wear my uggies and we're good to, oh i think i'm gonna either wear my uggies or my sneakers i think i'm gonna go with my sneakers because the weather is good today yeah i'm gonna go with my white sneakers
and that was my Ramadan routine hopefully until the end of the Ramadan this will be the routine that I want to stick to because it truly is a comfort routine for me and I feel like I perfectly balanced like all both like the deen and the dunya you know what I mean in this routine for example I managed to make time for all my Quran works um, and my you know dhikr works and then on the other hand I also managed to make time for my chores uh, video editing you know for my own work and etc how are y'all doing by the way I hope so far you're having a beautiful Ramadan inshallah a wonderful Ramadan for me, I've been spending my days productively, alhamdulillah. Now, I, I mean, before the topic recession, I want to talk about my videos, a couple changes that I've done in my recent videos. Um, some of you noticed it, so that's why I want to, like, discuss about it with you guys. So, there are two main changes. The first one is I am talking more than usual in my videos. And that's because, well, of course, I myself love to watch, like, silent vlogs, but I do love when the YouTuber actually hops in the video and just, you know, talks and catches up with their viewers and just talk about random topics. I just love to watch those kind of YouTubers as well. And when I watched my own videos, like especially my old videos, they're like too silent and my life just looks like too perfect, if uh, that makes sense. Um, and plus, I really want... I not only want to but i also like love to share my opinions with you guys my thoughts with you guys sometimes i want to do a product review with you guys for example in the last video we talked a little about skincare um and yeah i just i want to talk with you guys i truly see you guys as like my friends so whatever just comes to my mind i want to share it with you guys so that's why i've been talking a little more in my videos i'm sorry if it's getting like boring but i am aware that i talk a little too much so i'll try my best to just balance that silent part and the talkative parts in my vlogs inshallah and the second change is subtitle so if you guys know that in my old videos i used to add a lot of subtitles but it was like really time consuming but then on the other hand majority of you wanted me to post videos very quickly like once or twice in a week but then the reason why i couldn't do that when i used to add subtitles is because subtitles like adding subtitles take more time than editing and filming the video you guys i edit a video alhamdulillah uh, in maximum four hours now back in the days it used to take me like six seven hours but then now i am getting professional on editing alhamdulillah it takes lesser time than it used to take before uh, but subtitles you guys it really consumes a lot time so for example let's say i have uploaded a video on my youtube but i cannot post it right away i cannot share it with you guys right away because i have to add subtitles and adding subtitles takes a day or two for me you guys depending on how long the video is and since my videos are like really long you know it differs from 50 minutes to 30 minutes i even have a whole video that is like 40 minutes long it takes more time like it it's really time consuming um, and when I looked at my, you know, video algorithms, like my video um, insights, I saw that majority of my viewers, they don't watch my videos with subtitles. Only some watch with subtitles. And those people who watch, they use the Turkish subtitle, Arabic subtitle, French subtitle. Um, but I really do want to add subtitles. But then, just like I said, I only have two options. I either have to upload videos frequently, like once or twice in a week, or upload slowly but add subtitles. But then most of you guys want me to upload quickly, don't you? Um, so that's why I had to choose one of them. And obviously uploading more videos and uploading them quicker was the best decision for me. I hope you guys will understand me. Um, inshallah, if uh, I ever built like a team that has an editor and you know that can also help me with subtitles, I will definitely add subtitles. But for now, unfortunately, you guys, um, I cannot make um, a lot of time for subtitles. I have some other stuff in my life that is currently going on, which I will inshallah share with you guys soon, inshallah. Um, that's why I hope you guys will understand it. So yeah, that was a little, you know, topic I wanted to talk about. Now moving on to the topic recession of the video, as you guys know, in my last vlog, I was like, I want y'all's topic recessions so that I can talk about it in the next video. So here I am. I will quickly check out the comments in my latest video and um, let's see what kind of topic you guys have left.
By the way, the Ramadan series videos are getting a lot of love, which I am really thankful and grateful for. Thank you so, so much for all the love and support. Truly, you guys are the best and you guys know how to make me happy. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Let's start with a tafakkur from Fatima I hope you know that's her name I'm gonna leave uh, the channel name right here somewhere on the screen So she says tafakkur Focusing on the blessings which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us, which brings happiness and khushu in our prayers, and overthinking over our problems bring us sadness and hopelessness. The best thing we can do when things are out of our hand is leaving the ownership of the outcome in the hands of Allah, who is the best of planners and al wadud, the loving. SubhanAllah, that is a wonderful tafakkur. And wow, I just needed it right now, like so much. Um, thank you. May Allah be... Uh, Please with you, uh, dear Fatima, if you're watching this. And shout out to her. That is a beautiful tabakur, you guys. And she is so right. Really, like, focusing on all the blessings that Allah has provided us. It, they all make us really happy. She's right. For example, a blessing that we should focus on is nutrition, food. You know, Allah has blessed, blessed us with food. And even if we fast almost the entire day, what keeps us bear that you know hunger is the fact that there is an iftar and our iftar will be blessed with food and that is a blessing and it makes us happy it makes us bear this hunger that we're going through on the daytime and then in the nighttime when the sun sets we start eating again right and it, that's a blessing which makes us really happy and she also says overthinking over our problems brings us sadness and hopelessness which is also so true um, it's crazy that we know that if we overthink, we will get sad. But we still overthink. Why? Because it is from shaitan. So that's why we shouldn't overthink, you guys. Like, And to not overthink, what should we do? We should stay busy. We can worship, we can pray on time, we can read Quran. Other than that, we can just find a hobby, let's say drawing or, I don't know, like reading book or doing some researches about anything that is in your mind, right? We should stay busy. If we stay busy, honestly, you guys, shaitan will have no time to fill our brains, our minds with useless thoughts and unnecessary questions. So it's true that overthinking brings us sadness and hopelessness. And yes, she said we should trust in Allah. Why? Because he is the best of planners. And that itself is the perfect reason why we should just not overthink at the first place. Okay, the next tafakkur is from, I think her name is Rafia because it says hijabi girl Rafia again. Here is her channel name. Um, so she says, if we're conscious about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything in this dunya from small to big things reminds us about how perfectly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created them. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Like that is, wow, that's amazing. It, 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 it looks like a short one. It's right here, this one. But... It, it, it's, it's a tafakkur that just makes you think deeply. And I love those kind of tafakkurs. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like there are different types of tafakkurs. There, there, there are ones in which we just think about the nature and reflect on the nature, the trees, the blue sky, the ocean, you know, all the animals flying, flying around. But then there are tafakkurs that just makes you think really deeply, you know. And it's, it's not about like the nature or the things around you, but it's within yourself. And the weird part is you cannot find the words to describe that tafakkur. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is one of like those. And she is absolutely right. SubhanAllah, mashallah. The fact that she said everything in this dunya from small to big things. And I want to reflect on the part when she says small, because big things, we can easily find Allah in the big things. For example, the planets, you know, we can easily find Allah through them because they are created beautifully, right? Or just like I said, the nature, we can find Allah easily in the nature. But then she said small things. What are those small things? Think deeply about that. A small thing can be a random incident you went through, but then you just stopped for a second and just like contemplated about that incident and you find Allah through it so he has given us 
like plenty and like trillions and trillions of chances in the world whether you look at the big things or at the smallest things you can ever imagine Allah is hidden in it so wow this tafakkur admired me um the fact that she said from small to big things because we can easily find Allah in the big things but what matters is when, when we find him in the smallest things Another tafakkur is, um, I really was trying to be happy and stop overthinking, but you know INFJ, INFJ's nature. <laughs> uh, that's right, INFJ is going to think everything, you guys, even the tiniest detail, we can think that, because I'm an INFJ, by the way, so I can definitely relate to this one. Um, she says, before a few days of Ramadan, I was taking a stroll on rooftop, and I realized that Allah made all of these beautiful skies, sun, and clouds, and he even sent me to witness all of his beautiful creations. I must be precious to the creator. Oh my God, subhanAllah, that is such a beautiful way of thinking. And that thought made me feel so happy and to not be sad anymore. That is so freaking true. We are precious to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, He has blessed us with life, you know. We could have just been nothing. He could have just not, like, created us. But He created the heavens and the earth, you know. The universe, the space, the planets. He created the earth and the nature. And he created 8 billion people and millions of animals. But he thought that it would be empty if he didn't create us. So he created us. He created me. You know, he thought that this world would be kind of like empty without me. So he created me. And he is making me witness this beautiful life that he has given me. Even with its hardship. Even the hardships I go through in my life. He has created me just so that I can witness his beauty, his power, all these beautiful creations. Why? Because I am precious to him. I am valuable to him. He loves me. He loves you. You are precious to him. Just like, wow, wow. I don't know her name. I wish I knew her name. But if you're watching this, this is a beautiful perspective. Wow, mashallah. Like this tafakkur left me in awe. SubhanAllah, you guys, think deeply about all these tafakkurs that I'm just like going through right now, you guys, and sharing with you. Another tafakkur is actually from my own sister. She left a comment um, and she says, first of all, she says, OMG, Husna, this is so good. Thank you, Dina. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, and her tafakkur is, my little tafakkur would be, Ramadan made me realize how our egos are like a little child and yet we still tend to feed it. While fasting our nafs craves different types of food and during the iftar we are full with just a soup or two bites of food. Shows actually how simple everything in life is when nafs isn't involved in a negative way. SubhanAllah, Allahumma barik. This is also another beautiful tafakkur that we should think deeply about. Wow, um, that's right you guys. That's, that's actually so, so right. We fast for hours and hours. And at the end of the day, and plus, not only we fast, but we also just like, you know, count hours until it's iftar, don't we? Like, right? Like we count hours until we finally can eat food again. And when that hour arrives, you're, we're like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I can eat everything on this table. But then literally after two seconds later, we're like, I'm full. And that is what dunya is, you guys. That is what this life is. At first, we yearn to achieve our goal. And then once we actually achieve it, we're like, now what? Right? And also, another thing about Ramadan is that we fast for hours and hours. And that fast is kind of like, how can I say? It kind of low-key rep represents the hardship we go through our life. When we are fasting, we stay patient. We, we control ourselves. Why? Because we know at the end of the day, there is an iftar that is waiting for us. We fast and we uh, try to deal with our hunger. We try to stay patient with our hunger. Why? Because we know that at the end of the day, we have an iftar. We will eat food and our hunger will just go away, right? That is, like, like that's how we stay hopeful throughout the day when we're fasting, with the hope of iftar. So in life, the fasting part is the hardship part of our lives, you guys. The, the reason why we stay patient, we have to stay patient during our hardship is that there is going to be an iftar somehow at the end of the day after that hardship. 
And the iftar of that hardship is فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرًا Somehow, you guys, somehow, as long as you stay patient throughout that hardship, Allah will give you what you want or something that is even better than what you can ever imagine. So Ramadan, like iftar, like the fasting hours and iftar represents the hardship and the ease part of our lives. After every hardship will definitely come and ease As long as we're patient As long as we are controlling ourselves Just like we control ourselves During the fasting hours of our day And then finally when it's iftar We say alhamdulillah And we start eating our food Wow, from that kind of tafakkur Like my sister's tafakkur We came to this tafakkur That's what I love about contemplating That's what I love about tafakkur When you start making tafakkur Like when you start tafakkuring Basically Allah will lead you to some other like types of tafakkurs for example from like this tafakkur of my sister we came to this conclusion right a tafakkur brings up another tafakkur that's why you guys allah wants us to just think about him to reflect on him you know tafakkur is a sunnah of prophet ibrahim alayhi salam he used to think uh, he used to look at the stars at the moon he used to contemplate about them right so he found allah through contemplating he used to look at the stars he used to be like no, these cannot be my creator. Why? Because they get lost at the daytime and then they come back at the nighttime. My creator should be the one who is everlasting, who is ever surviving, he, who is always there for me, even if it's the day or the night, doesn't matter. He should always be there for me. So Ibrahim salam found Allah through contemplating. So that's why we should contemplate, you guys. We, you, we have no idea how much barakah contemplating can bring to us so yeah those are some type of curves uh, if i keep on going you guys this video will end up being like an hour long um but wow subhanallah there are plenty more type of curves in um the last uh, video underneath the, like the last video's comments so if you're curious you can just go and check out the comments but yeah wow i i had so much fun <laughs> i feel very peaceful right now and those type of curves really just like open my mind so, mashallah to all those who left comment, uh, tafakkur comments underneath my last video. May Allah bless you all and may Allah help us not only just look at the things that are around us, but also look at them with the eyes of our hearts. Not only with our actual physical eyes, but also with the eyes of our hearts. Because when we look at things with the eye of our hearts, we see more than what we can actually see it with our own physical eyes. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you have any other like different type of cards, you can still like go and comment down below. I love you guys so so much. Um, stay safe and may Allah protect you all. Ma'asalam. Bye.